Hi, and thank you for visiting Crafty Ladybug. Today's tutorial is going to be on this adorable little baby bunny. The baby bunny can be accented with the loomless carrot, and also you can find the loomless Easter eggs on my channel. Today's tutorial is going to start with the loom set in an offset configuration with the arrows pointing towards our body. I today will be using purple bands, but you can use whatever color bands you wish to make your bunny. Today, I've started with the eyes already placed on, the beads for the eyes already placed on the band. Please see my bead threading tip, tip twirl for that technique. And I will also be using one small pony bead, a mini pony bead, for the nose area. You will be needing a lighter shade, two bands of a lighter shade, to go and coordinate for the inside of your ear. Doing purple, you could do white or you can do pink. And we'll also be needing two bands to form the bow. And a good number of purple bands for the color that you choose your bunny to be. So starting with a dangle band placed in the center peg, then I want to place two bands to the left, two bands to the right, two bands on the right coming down, Two bands coming down the center, two bands over on the left. If I'm going too fast for you, just simply hit the pause button to catch up. Two bands in the center, two bands to close off the diagonal, two more bands to close off the diagonal, and we have gotten to our neck area. For the neck portion, I want you to count down one peg from where we just finished. And on that one peg, I want you just to drop a single band right there and let it hang for a few minutes. We're going to pick that band up in just a little bit. Now that we have that band there across that center peg, which is one, two, three, four, peg number four in the center, we're going to do our neck portion by placing two bands on top of that. Now we're going to make a diamond diagonal kind of starburst pattern with a band, one single band. One band to the left, coming down the left, towards the center, towards the right, up, and now we need to pick up our band that we just had dangle in there. This is for securing reasons. Um, when we go to do the starburst pattern, the way I've done it is modified it some. So I just simply took that dangle band, that band that was just hanging right there in the center, and I'm going to complete my diagonal with that band by sliding it on that hook right there. Now we can fill in our starburst, and that's going to be with two bands. Two bands. Two bands. Two bands, two, and two more. Then we need to finish off that center peg with a three time cat band. One, two, three. Now that the starburst area is finished, I want to go ahead and loom the center starburst area. And we're going to loom that and then we're going to put our arms and our legs on it. So basically you're just reaching into that cat band and you're getting out your two bands and you're going in the direction, the forward direction or sometimes it seems backwards on this one, the backwards direction of where your bands came from. And we're just doing a modified starburst here. Okay. So all six of our bands are done, and we've got this nice big open hole in the center. Now we can work on our ears, and our arms, and our legs. And to do that, we are not going to use a loom. We are just going to use um, our hook. So I'm going to start with the ears first. For the ears, you'll take your hook, and you want to wrap the band around it one, two, three times. Then you want to pull through two bands 
and secure that back on your hook. So this is like a loomless stitch. The next one is going to be two of your colored bands and one of your lighter shade for the inside of the ear. And you're going to pull that through and secure that on your hook. And for this one, you want to try to make sure that you get your inner ear bands in the center. That way there's less fiddling later on. So I've just stretched to make sure that my, my pink bands are in the center. And then two bands pulled through again, placed on our hook, and one band pulled through and placed on our hook. Now we can add our bunny ears to our loom up top here. Stretch that out, place that on top there. And we're going to do the same thing for another ear. One band, three times, one, two, three. And we have two bands pulled through. Whoops. Let's start that one over again. One, two, three. Two bands pulled through and secured back on our hook. Remember, if I'm going too fast, hit the pause button to slow me down. Next one will be two of our regular and one of our inner ear. Pull through, secure on hook. Trying to keep your pink on the inside or your inner ear color. And then we have two bands pulled through and secure back on. And one band pulled through and secure back on. And now we can place this up top here for our ear. Little bunny ears. And we'll work on the arms. And the arms are going to be similar to the ears, same concept, loomless. Three times, one, two, three. Two bands through and secured back on. One band through and secure back on. And that is giving us our little left hand that we're going to place on the diagonal right here. We're going to do it for the right arm. One, two, three. Two bands. Pull through. Secure back on. And one band pull through and secure back on. And we're going to place it here for the right. And we need to do our legs. And for our legs, it's going to be a little different. For our legs, we want to start with two bands. And you want to wrap them twice. One, two. Two bands, two times. And then we're going to take three bands and slide those two bands on and secure. I didn't get all three that time. Three bands on, secure it back over. Just straighten them up a little bit. And one band through. I keep losing this one, guys. I'm so sorry about that. Practice makes perfect. Practice makes perfect. <laughs> two bands. I'm still working on the legs. One, two times. Three bands. Pulled through. <laughs> and secured back over. See, I fumble through things all the time. And then one band pulled through and secured back over. And then we're going to be placing it under the left arm. And now I've got one more leg to do. Whew, almost done the legs. Two bands twisted twice. Three bands slid over and secured back on the hook. 
with one band pulled through and secure back on the hook again. And that's going to go over here for his little leg. Okay. And now we need to do the eye portion. And for the eye portion, you're going to take a single band, go from the left above the center. Don't loop around, go above the center. Left, above center, down to the right. Left, above the center, down to the right. Our eyes are going to be the opposite. They're going to go left, below the center, left, below the center, and hook it on the opposite hook. And now we can begin to loom our piece. And as we finish to loom our piece, the starburst pattern, we need to reach down into that starburst pattern, the neck area, and we're going to start our starburst chain. And I'm reaching in through these, and I'm grabbing, I want to make sure that I grab my last peg, my last band that's down there. That one that we kind of set up a little funky. That's the one that you want to make sure that you're getting. Loop in there and get that last band. And if you're having problems like I am, no, no worries. Yay, you finally got it. Single band. Coming to the right. Now we need to finish off our starburst. An awkward move because you're coming down with this one. And this one's really, really tight. So I'm just going to relieve some tension by pulling on that little leg a little bit. And just run my hook around there just to help relieve some of the tension on that. I'm reaching in. I'm basically just finishing a typical starburst. Over. A little leg in the way. And that pan slipped out on me. So I'm just going to place it back on. There we go. Reach in. Come forward. Reach in. Come forward to finish up your starburst. Once again, lots of tension on that piece because all the arms and all the extra bands and stuff. So just release some of that tension by taking your hook and running it through. Now to my neck area. And for my neck area, I want to reach down in there and I want to grab those two neck bands and I want to come straight forward. And this does look a little messy and congested there, but that is the way of securing um, our little bear's head and body together. Go to his cheek. Two bands over to the cheek, and two bands coming up the center. And we need to stop right here for a minute, and we need to switch hooks. And you're going to add your pony bead to your hook, your thinner hook, so it slides over. And you want to grab just one band from those two you just laid, and slide your hook back over, and loom forward. That's how you get that little bead on that single band there. Now I'm just finishing up my loom. Finishing it up on the left. And finish it up on the right. And don't forget to finish off the center. Pushing back all those cat bands that we have in there. And coming straight forward. And we want to reach in and get our dangle band down through all of those. Get that very last band. There's so many on here that it might be difficult for some. Peel that dangle band over, secure it in a slip knot, and we're ready to pull off the loom. I always use the back of my hook. I just think that it's much safer to do it that way. Um, your stuff has less tendency to break, fly off, do different things. But here we have got our cute little bunny. Poke his eyes out some. You can pull his ear down a little bit. Fix his hands. Got a little bit of fixing to do on him. 
stretch out your starburst area just a little bit. And here we've got our cute little bunny. Now we just want to add his collar. And to do the collar, you need to take two bands and slip knot them together. You just slip knot those two bands together, place it behind his neck, and this is going to be a tying episode. To tie it in a little bow around his neck. Don't worry, he's made a rubber, he'll bounce back. And there we've got our little bunny with our bow. And just hide your little tag here to make his tail, his bum, his little tail. You want to take and pull the back two pieces that are sort of hanging out here. It's part of your starburst. Tug on those a little bit. And it will make his tail and it'll allow him to sit better. But if you don't like the tail sticking out like that, take your hook, wrap around three times. One, two, three. Thread that three twist onto that little tail. And that helps secure the tail a little bit more. So here we've got our little bunny. And I just want to show you that the difference in bands makes each one of them look a little different. I've used three different variety of bands here. So you can see that each one of them kind of has its own unique little shape. You just need to keep playing with them and getting them to the, the point that you like. But there's our cute little Easter bunnies.